O God, creator of all things, who in the beginning made man and woman, that they might form the marriage bond. Bless and strengthen the union of your servants, Sean and Beverly, that they may show forth an ever more perfect image of the union of Christ with His Church. You've been married 10 years now, and maybe you have known each other longer than that. And I hope that by now, you have realized, Sean, you have not married the dream girl. And Beverly, I hope that you have realized you have not married the dream man. And who did you marry? You have married the real person, the real man, and the real woman. Please welcome Mr. and Mrs. Sean and Bea Lynch. Sean and Beverly, have you come here freely and wholeheartedly to renew your marriage vows? Yes, Father. His time is eternity. What is between you, Sean, and Beverly is not human time, but God's time. It's not early, it's not late, it's perfect. Take this ring. Take this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And fidelity. And fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Well, Sean, as your Godfather, I see your options as this: the swords, the mallets, or to go through with the wedding vows. Your choice. I think I'll have to go for the wedding bells. I have another option, but... <laughs> I didn't want to mess up the rug.
Today is Saturday, 19th of February, sixth week in ordinary time, Saturday. Receive this array. Receive this array. As a symbol of all that I am. As a symbol of all I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. by the authority of the church calling on all those present here as witnesses to confirm and bless this renewal of marriage vows which are contracted in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come here, You are now two, but through the sacrament, you become one. And what God has joined together, let no man separate. 